there are some mysteries when we look around the solar system where the theories really don't match what we see. Science fact can be a lot weirder than the science fiction. We started finding planets in places we had never thought you could possibly form a planet. We had to go back to the drawing board. How do you make solar systems? How do you make planets? It's as if somebody took the solar system, picked it up, and shook it real hard. Our planets might have moved. They might have moved a lot. All of a sudden, everything changed. It's changed the way we look at almost every process in the solar system. Sometimes the blood splattered on the wall could tell you more about what happened than the body lying on the floor. The Royal Observatory in Greenwich is the historical home of British astronomy. Discoveries have been made here and mysteries unraveled. It is also home to some unique astronomical treasures. This is an orrery, a clockwork model of the solar system. And for most of the last four centuries, this has been the way we think about the planets in the solar system. Of course, the scale is all wrong, but it clearly shows the traditional view of the planets and their fixed orbits. In the center, we have the sun, and then around it, we have the four rocky planets, tiny Mercury rushing around in the middle, Venus, the Earth with the moon going around it, and then Mars. And outside of the, the inner planets, we have the gas giants, Jupiter, the largest planet of all, and then Saturn with its beautiful ring system. And then the two outermost planets, Uranus and Neptune. Astronomers always thought that the planets have been fixed in these orbits since they formed, more than four billion years ago. Long enough for the Earth to develop into the haven it is today, for life to evolve. The natural assumption to make is that everything we see now formed where it is and has stayed there ever since. <laughs> 